You know Magi Koopa Kamek. She's all over the place. She's one of the biggest enemies in the whole Mario franchise. You may know from some of the RPGs and other games like Mario Baseball Sluggers for the Wii. There are actually different colored variations of Kameks. But you notice that any plush treatment, nobody in this whole world has ever made a different color variation of Kamek or an enemy in general. So that is why we made a different color of Kamek a few months ago back. So we can just have a unique color of Kamek. So today Today, well, we, we will be talking about our green Kamek we made. So now, let's start off with the green Kamek. We have never showed this in a video, except one of my plush shorts or Evan Reynolds exclusive plush videos. We can also link that video down in the description if you guys want to see it. So yeah, this is our green Kamek. We love this one so much. We did actually did paint it with plush paint, but it turned out to be all hard. But that's not really a big of an issue because like this thing is really adorbs and stuff. It's still it's still a brand new plush. It's still like new because we never like touched it really or used it except when we painted it. So yeah, this is a magic Koopa we can soon use in our videos. And anyways, let's get into this. Everything's basically the same like a normal Kamek. So what we did was actually get a Kamek from a Target, one of our Targets. So we saw the Kamek, we decided that we would actually get this Kamek to paint it a different color. So if we like see another Kamek at the, t if we see another Kamek at the Target, we'll sure enough get it and then we'll probably paint it like yellow, red, and yeah, pink, like Super Mario and Logan's former. But anyways, yeah. The wand's pretty nice and everything, so let's get into this. What I got from was from Michael's green plush paint. But then again, it's still all crusty and hard. And then it's kind of cracking because we did do this on a dress. So we can't really mess with the dress or else, or the robe or whatever, or else it'll crack. We did get some paint like on the feet and the hand, but that's, and like over here. But like, you wouldn't really be able to notice it. Now from this camera, it probably looks like a golden Kamek, like a golden green Kamek. And we're so happy with this green Kamek because now like, we play Super Mario Bros. Sluggers on the Wii, so then we always choose the green Kamek, too. But, in lots of RPGs, there was lots of many different variation colors of Kameks. So we'll probably be make, like, a white one, like a black, a brown, like, endless colors that are don't even exist. Because, like, that's how far we can go with the Kameks and stuff. So, yeah, it'll be very unique. And yeah, let's get into this. We got, like, our paintbrush. We can also link the live stream of painting a Kamek live. We just kind of want to, it'll kind of give out a detail of like how I did it, but let's get into this. Got the paint from Michaels. Uh, I squirted it into the bowl and then I got the paint and then started like over here on the head. I started to coat it too. So when it sink in, then you can still see some blue. Now you can because it kind of cracked over time. But anyways, we, we started to paint it and then it looked really, really good here around the hat and stuff it looks really really good we can lift his flap up looks funny or hers and um now we started the, from the dress over here and then like after the stream i still had to paint the rest of the dress so you won't get to see the final product in the stream but now you can so no um, this is the final product he's blue under because we cannot get i'm sorry if this kind of bothers you but we could not get it under or else it would just like ruin the whole underbody but we can, can still troll it. It's really soft under here. Because we just painted the outside. But it's not really that much. Has his beans in the feet. Beads. And like the paint was like still really hard to do. Because like the dress. It's not smooth. Like it's movable. Like this shirt. Is, you can move it like that. So that's why it was really hard. To do it. But yeah, this really turned out to be a really good Kamek. We also have a custom green toad that we're always going to keep, which looks really awesome. We use the same green paint, but it didn't turn out as well, too, in general. But like, and anyways, this is really good. This is a unique plush. We're probably the first ones to have our Kamek green. We probably, we probably can guess that some people have different colored Kameks than everywhere, but we're probably the first to ever have a green one painted. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this review. Again, this Kamek turned out awesome. And yeah, if you want to do the same thing, if you want to get another Kamek, make it green, you can. So yeah, you can make any different colored variations as long as you use paint. Because if we use plush markers, it would seem through. So we recommend like if so, a plush that you have that's like the color of Rosalina's dress, like that light color 
or like white white in that color we would recommend is like the only thing that'll work if you use like any marker it'll actually seep through into a different color like how it's supposed to be so yeah that's the only those are the only two colors that we know of would work with plush markers but like if you want to customize something else and a plush marker wouldn't work would you would probably have to do the plush paint and do all those steps if you want it to get like all plushy or if you still just want it to be hard as long as some parts are still soft and really good but again yeah thank you so much for watching this review thank you so much for watching this awesome green comic review and have a great day